Maloney Securities, located in Manchester, Missouri. Mr. Maloney began his career in the brokerage over 30 years ago in the mid-1990s. Uh, Mr. Maloney formed Maloney Securities. He is the chairman of SISMA Small Firms Committee and serves on FINRA's advisory board for small brokerage. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, Chairman Woman Velasquez. And uh, Ranking Member Graves is not here, but the rest of the committee. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to testify before you on behalf of SIFMA on how changes to the financial regulatory system could affect small broker dealers. SIFMA and its small member firms applaud your efforts to be the advocate on behalf of small businesses. Small businesses are the backbone of the U.S. economy, and small broker dealers are instrumental in serving uh, individual investors and entrepreneurs on Main Street. <clears throat> I'll forego the statistics for the industry and the, uh, my company. They're in the written testimony. The only thing I want to add is the last line I have here is that my firm, like the overwhelming majority of broker dealers, was not a TARP recipient. The majority of financial service reform proposals before Congress do not impact smaller firms like mine. However, small firms are concerned that changes contemplated for large global financial service firms could cause disparate effects on small firm operations. Because the investor confidence in these markets is important to all firms, regardless of size, a sound regulatory regime must contain several key elements. It must minimize st systemic risk, promote safety and soundness of the regulated entities, promote fair dealing and investor protection, be consistent from country to country where applicable, and, as a, and be as effective and efficient as possible. Well-crafted and thoughtful legislation is needed to avoid unintended consequences that the firms that I am representing did not cause. Congress can, should also include sunset provisions in the new law, uh, laws and, and regulations uh, so that uh, uh, they may achieve their desired effect and don't uh, promote any undesired consequences. I would like to address two specific features uh, of financial service reform that do affect my firm and my brokers. First, SIFMA has, a, has long advocated the modernization and harmonization of disparate uh, regulatory regimes for brokers, dealers, investment advisors, and other financial intermediaries. We welcome Treasury's proposed legislation, which appears to acknowledge these important distinctions and which uh, uh, would give the SEC the authority to establish rules for a new uniform federal fiduciary standard that supersedes and improves on existing standards and is applied only in the context of providing personalized investment advice to individual investors. Second, pre-dispute uh, arbitration clauses are vital to the securities arbitration system. Small investors uh, benefit in particular as arbitration allows them to pursue claims they could not afford to litigate and do it on a much more timely basis. Treasury has proposed giving the SEC the authority to prohibit pre-dispute arbitration clauses in broker-dealer and investment advisory account agreements with retail clients <coughs> if it studies these clauses and concludes that there is any harm to investors. SIFMA supports that uh, provision. There are several issues uh, uh, that impact regulation of smaller firms that I would like to address. While each one may be insignificant, taken as a whole, the cumulative effect can be quite uh, devastating. For example, fees for financial audits of small firms will increase due to the SEC's decision not to extend an exemption uh, for small firms from Sarbanes-Oxley audit requirements. Fenner has proposed uh, to eliminate anti-money laundering third-party exemption for small firms. This will increase AML audit costs. CIPIC, FINRA, and the MSRB have proposed or implemented increased assessments to firms already. The cumulative impact of these and other changes drain limited resources from small firms and from their efforts uh, in 
paying for their compliance training and customer service functions. Finally, CIFMO supports a small business community initiative to correct deficiencies in Reg X, to eliminate outdated regulations, ensure agencies do not ignore requirements of Reg X, uh, and compel agencies to consider economic impacts on the rules of small business. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairwoman, and uh, the rest of the committee for allowing me to present CIFMA's views. We hope to continue the dialogue on the financial service regulatory reform and stand ready to assist any way we can. Thank you, Mr. Maloney. Our next witness is Ms. Dawn Donovan. She's the CEO of Price Chopper Employees Federal Credit Union. 